Good morning. My they are back. Here's the plan. Tile shopping, part two. Uh, George and Miss Emmy over at Casa Texpina have suggested a, another location which has a bigger selection of tiles, which is about 45 minutes to an hour's drive from here. So we're going to go and try that. What joy that promises. Here on the site, the swimming pool guys are, I think, pretty close to finishing the wall tiling at least where they can at the moment. The next steps for them, I think, are going to be uh, to complete the bench seat inside and then probably, I think, they're going to make a start on the steps, although that may not be today. There's maybe a bit more plumbing work to be done with those water jets. We'll see. Up on the roof. We do have an estimate from the roofing crew about the time that they think they'll need, but it does get a bit confusing. I'll explain shortly. Inside the house, I have no doubt, more plastering, more conduit, electrical stuff going on. That's all I'm aware of in today's plan. What could possibly go wrong? Well, apart from the shopping. Up on the top, can't really see them. I can see a helmet up there, but basically Aaron and Wensi up on the roof have given us an estimate on completion. They say the frame, all of the uh, metal frame will be done in one more week. And then it gets complicated because then it's a different crew that come in to do the roof panels, the flashing, the bases, everything else. So I think that's actually made things less easy, not easier. But if it helps you at all, one more week for the metal frame. And then over to team two, whoever that might be, for everything else. I will put out this video if I can tonight, because I've managed to fry yet another cable on my computer. And then, We'll say you've got all day, oh, Marvin's over there, waving, well, he was a moment ago. Then you're going to have all day on, what's that going to be, Sunday and Monday. And then I'm going to close the competition. So don't hang around too long after this video goes out. Assuming I can actually get it to go out. Here at the pool, they have as you can probably make out, filled in, basically backfilled all of the bench seat here. And now they're giving it a good watering. I'm not sure if they're planning on planting some seeds, uh, but that's all been done. My wife says she thinks the height will be fine once they put the top onto this seat, which is good news, so no changes here. They are mixing up concrete right now. I guess it's for more of the tiling. And again, just to repeat, take your dizzy pills. Just here will be a fairly long section that is very shallow. So you can see where the tiling stops. I think from that point onwards, there's no more tiling to be done just there yet because that's where the shallow bit will be and there will also then be steps that come from somewhere over here coming in this direction. Not going across the pool because there wasn't enough space. So this area around here which is not tiled down low is not going to be tiled down low. Not until they put the shallow area and the steps into place. Here we go, tile shopping, take two. So this is the Wilcon at Mexico, which has the additional advantage of being about two minutes drive away from the big, I think the biggest SM uh, mole. The biggest one I think in the 
Luzon Island, maybe, or maybe the second biggest one, but it's big anyway. So, let's see how we get on here. I'm going in with a positive frame of mind. So, similar to the other one, tiles at the front of the store. You can just about see how far they go, and then a load more over on the left side. So, we're off and running. This one's a possibility on the right. And bottom left here. So if I stick this one in there, I think that might look all right. And it is a very, very slightly rough finish. And if this is the one, my faith is restored in tile shopping because this has taken about two minutes. All right, lots and lots of pictures. They're both kind of like the tiles here. Not the, ignore the cabinet tile selection just for once we might actually agree on something that could be one of the bathrooms something vaguely similar here's another one i like it well with the exception of this i don't like this but something a little plainer and a similar color i think i'm going to lose this argument though boss not so sure in fact boss kind of no. And another one that we partly agree on, although this one and this one, oops, sorry, tripping over, and this one, these tiles, I don't like these little bars, I don't think they look good, but a plainer, again, a plainer tile with a, that sort of colour scheme might be okay. Okay, enough tiles for now, and this isn't necessarily all about what we particularly choose so we'll have a look around the rest of the store so you get a flavor of what kind of things they do so toilets and sinks not the sexiest part of a bathroom i'm sure if you're in the us or the uk or many other countries most around europe you will have way bigger selections than this but just to give you a sense there's a couple of rows here of sinks and toilets. And my beautiful Sawa has said one thing she would really like is for the flushing button to be on the wall. I suspect that might be a bit of a recipe for plumbing disaster, but we'll have a look. So that's the first row. And here's the second. So, more of the same. Again, this is not necessarily about what we're looking for. Just an idea of the kind of things that are available here. An intelligent toilet. Seriously? But, my beautiful Asawa likes this one. It's rather expensive. And she likes this. And I'm definitely not keen on that myself. Here we go, a non-intelligent toilet. Quite like that. For the master bathroom, the shower, something like this. Waterfall shower head, regular shower, side, what do they call it? Spa, body shower. Ooh, yeah, something like that. Right, two new ones. We might be down to a selection here. So, one of those two. They both have a slightly rough surface, which is what we're looking for. I actually prefer the one on the right as you're looking at it, but, sorry, it's in a bit of shadow there. Uh, I don't mind either one, maybe. Right, this is Rose, who is helping us. I've just got over to where the taps and faucets are couple of rows of these here uh, not the biggest selection and the one that I kind of like the way it works is something like this that's flexible this particular one is unbelievably ugly so Rose is helping us to try and find something similar functionality more aesthetically pleasing we'll see what she can find good news 
they found another one that's actually in a kind of a steel finish instead of the black. Bad news, it is equally unattractive. The search continues. Okay, Juan Carlo's been helping us and we found number three. For example, you want to pull down, sir. You can pull this one, sir. This hat and fold. Maybe you can use only single line, sir. You can use a T connector if you want this whole line only. We need we need hot and cold. Ah, this one, sir. Ah, this hot and cold, sir. Okay, very good. Of seven thousand five hundred seventeen, sir. And it's made of a pro-plated brass, sir. Okay, fantastic. Better. Thank you very much. Next bit of long plumbing type stuff. Uh, faucets, pipes, filters, pumps, heaters, water heaters. And then it goes over towards electrical. And then you get over towards appliances. Uh, still more electrical, lighting. So it kind of exactly what you would expect from a significant hardware store. I get again say if you're in the US you probably think that's tiny. But for here, this is pretty substantial. And there are plenty of other sections we haven't looked at, all sorts of building materials, paint, and more. Ovens. What I'm really looking for are electric ovens. It's probably still want gas uh, ranges, but electric ovens. And they have a grand total of two. And they're too small. They're only 60 centimeters, I think. Uh, and they used to carry larger ones, but there was apparently no demand. So no more. So we've got to keep looking for ovens. It appears that this particular Wilcon store is not focused really on appliances. They've got a very small selection of refrigerators, for example, um, and a very small selection of ovens, even the gas ones. So I think the other Wilcon we went to back in Daou has more, but there are plenty of other stores for appliances. SNR, also in Daou, which is close to us, has a pretty good selection of appliances, so I think we might be heading back there. But lots of other places. Uh, Ace Hardware has a pretty good selection as well. And they're dotted around in various locations. And my Asawa is happy. She found a clothes drying thing. There you go. Trip is a success. And finally, before we head out the door, there are some furniture items here. Again, not a particularly enticing selection at this particular store. Not a very large selection. Well, honestly, I think we'd be better off heading down to Ikea. I think in somewhere around Manila. So that's it. That's Wilcon, Mexico. Very good for tiles. Well, Certainly better than the previous one. A little bit smaller, less focused on a number of other items. Well, we're not walking out empty-handed. We've got a heavy-duty hose and some Teflon tape. So, kind of successful. It's four o'clock, and because it's Saturday, the bell has gone. We actually got back probably a couple of hours ago, but there was a fair bit of footage from the trip, so I thought, two walks around will be too much. Here we go, swimming pool. From this angle, you can see there is still quite a bit of tiling at this end of the island still to be done. There's nothing else here to, to mean that they have to leave gaps. That entire section all needs to be tiled. And that extends round to the left and to the right. And covered in shadow, most of it, our bench has a concrete top. Not yet a thing of beauty. Be patient. As you come up the stairs now, and I'm at the kind of landing-y bit, all of this is plastered. 
all of this is done and heading down that way a fair bit down there as well let's go and see this corridor on both sides and at the end is done what i don't know yet is right at the end where there is the column on the right with the rough plaster i don't know what that means in terms of more plaster going on to match that level i assume there will be another coat in the bedroom at the back on the north side sunlight could be a bit of a beast here but the bathroom all done and if i back up a little bit fair bit done on the walk-in closet area and all of the bedroom had been done before except again up where the air conditioner will be but everything else and spinning slowly no dizzy pills required still on the north side now at the front of the house most of well all of this wall all of this wall all of this wall <laughs> none of that wall none in the corner and a part of this one done nothing yet in the bathroom and this is the one bedroom that does not have a walk-in closet so that's not done either middle bedroom at the front all the bedroom walls have got that plaster on nothing yet in the walk-in closet or the bathroom round here still to be done middle bedroom at the back uh, about half done this wall i think is new today but still quite a bit all over here and here not done yet the walk-in closet through that doorway is done the bathroom beyond it is not finally master bedroom master bathroom walk-in closet nothing new here because it's all done up top looking from the end of the corridor back towards the stairs down there really more and more metalwork going in as mentioned this morning the crew that's doing this i think they need one more week for that section of the roof to be completed there have been some concerns expressed in the comments uh, about the spacing of these half trusses uh, it is again I've had a conversation but I'm going to have another conversation with the builder because this two meter spacing if that's what it actually is um, a, a few people have said that's maybe too far apart particularly in an area like this where we get typhoons and earthquakes so there will be another conversation on that there will also be a conversation about whether any weatherproofing will be done to this metal. Uh, I am looking at it and I think, I don't think there's been anything done in the factory. I need to follow up on that one. That's it, the end of the work day, the end of the work week. He said, trying not to hiccup. I reckon that goes down as a build delicious week. I think there was an awful lot of progress. There are some questions that still need to be answered. But I think a lot of progress in a lot of areas. Well, as always. So yeah, build delicious, tick. Right, so when this video goes out, as I said this morning, um, if you have not entered the roof building competition yet, get your answer in. Well, if you'd like to, I'm not insisting, but it's an idea or change what you've put in already. And we will continue to keep that window of entry open, probably all day Sunday, our time. And I'll think about whether to still keep it open on Monday, I haven't quite decided yet. But that's it. Another shopping trip for tiles that didn't really end in success, but was it felt slightly better than yesterday's bit of a debacle. Uh, and tomorrow, I think we are going to be heading down south to Alabang, which has apparently got more selection, more shops. There's a, something called CW Home Depot. 
and a, a number of more boutique type of shops that we're going to try and go and have a look at. I will take the camera, whether or not we film it or not, I don't know, depends on my mood. Um, it, if I do put it out as a video, it obviously will not count as a build day, but just in case anybody else wants to see me getting slightly gnarly about shopping for finishing items once again. There you go. Day 131 done. See you next week.